The myth of Leda and the swan is a fascinating story from Greek mythology that has stirred the imagination of many artists throughout the centuries, especially during the Renaissance. This story of attraction, metamorphosis, and creation has been depicted in many ways, each offering a different perspective on the characters and their interactions. But first, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new and interesting videos. It is well known that the mighty Zeus was quite prone to sensual pleasures. He loved women of all kinds. It would take a long time to list his various companions in life. And it must be said that women loved him, too. How could they not? He was the Thunderer, the supreme deity of Olympus. Once he took one look at a pretty face, he was ready, never mind the fact that some of these women were legitimate wives. Leda, for example. Leda was a mortal woman, the daughter of the Aetolian king Thestius and Eurythemus. Some sources suggest that her parents were Sisyphus and Merope, but this happened so long ago that these minor biographical details are hidden in the mists of time. What is known reliably is that Leda was the legitimate wife of Tyndareus, king of Sparta. Although it is rumored that she was given to him without her consent, her father gave his young daughter to Tyndareus for helping him defeat his enemies. A sad story, but who asked the girl's opinion in those days? And so she walked along the Eurotas River, reflecting on her hard married life. While she was admiring her beautiful reflection in the water, Zeus flew by, making his divine rounds. Struck by her beauty, his lustful heart quickened. He did not approach the mortal in all her divine splendor. She might be blinded by such magnificence. Moreover, it was not befitting for earthlings to look upon gods. Therefore, Zeus turned into a white swan. Some say it was a black swan. But what a difference! Even as a swan, Zeus made love to Leda with such passion that any lawful husband would turn green with envy. Please write in the comments what you think about this. Leda gave birth to Zeus, or rather she laid an egg. Since Zeus was in rather unusual shape at the moment of conception, Leda did not give birth to a child, but to an egg. Trying to hide this immodest fact of her biography, the stories diverge. Some say that Leda laid one egg, others say two, and some even mention three. One thing is certain Helen, the beauty who instigated the Trojan War, was born from one of these eggs. Some even claim that Leda did not become pregnant by Zeus at all. She found among the hyacinths an egg laid by Nemesis. History is silent as to how Leda's husband reacted to his wife's infidelity. Probably he did not dare to rebuke the unfaithful woman. But what if Zeus became angry and threw thunderbolts at Sparta? So he raised Helen as his own daughter and gave her in marriage to the king of Troy. Many centuries had passed since then. Even Troy, where Leda and Zeus' daughter ruled, has all but disappeared, but the story still stirs people's minds. Now let's look at some famous artistic images. Michelangelo's painting of Leda and the Swan, c. 1530, this painting, now lost but known from copies, depicts Leda in a sensual embrace with a swan, at whose feet lie eggs waiting to hatch. 
Michelangelo used strong lines and dramatic poses to emphasize the physical aspects of this encounter. Leonardo da Vinci's Lita and the Swan, c. 1508, Leonardo's depiction, known only from copies and sketches, is softer than Michelangelo's. Here, Lita is depicted standing and affectionately stroking a swan on the head. The swan wraps its neck around Lita, giving the painting a less aggressive and more intimate character. Peter Paul Rubens' painting of Lita and the Swan, c. 1598-1600, Rubens' work is a masterpiece in the use of color and texture. The Lita is depicted in a vulnerable position, emphasizing her innocence, while the Swan appears as a more dominant figure, emphasizing the power and intentions of Zeus. Cesare de Sesto, Lita and the Swan, c. 1510-1515, as a student of Leonardo, de Sesto adopted the softer approach of his teacher. His version is characterized by elegance and a certain modesty compared to other, more outspoken interpretations. Saya Twombly's painting Ice and the Swan, 1962, in the modern era, Twombly reinterpreted this myth in the style of abstract expressionism. His painting consists of squalling strokes and doodles, embodying the chaos and passion of the encounter. These artists, like many others, were attracted to the story of Lita and the Swan for its combination of human emotion, divine intervention, and transformative power. Different interpretations in different periods reflect changing perspectives on themes such as power, seduction, and consent. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. See you soon!